Hi, welcome back to Learn, Share and Repeat with me, Peter Rising. It's good to see you again. Just recording a very quick video for you to update you on Copilot for Security. Now, Copilot for Security goes GA, General Availability, on April the 1st, as I hope we all know by now, but uh, people have been asking about the pricing model of it. Well, Microsoft have released their pricing information, their pricing structure, and it's all gonna be consumption-based. So I thought I'd record this quick little video to show you what I know so far and what we can expect when that GA happens on April the 1st. So stay tuned, let's check it out. So Microsoft Copilot for Security, the product formerly known as Security Copilot, is going GA, that's General Availability, on April the 1st. Awesome stuff indeed. And that, to me, was a bit of a surprise, that early release date. I, If I was a betting man, I would have thought it would be July, closer to July, but it's going to be with us in April. Now, if you look at the Copilot for Security page, we can get lots of information about what it is, what it does, the benefits... Uh, C Copilot in action, outpace adversaries, strength and team, expertise, how it works, uh, turn questions into actions, and all that good sort of stuff. What integrates with it, and uh, I've been through this on a video myself not too long ago that I'll link to from this video, how it ties into performing SOC tasks with Microsoft Sentinel, amongst others, what the customers who've trialed this in the private preview have said, and so on and so forth. We've got some frequently asked questions at the bottom as well. What is Copilot for Security? How is it different? Uh, does it work with other MS Security products? Uh, does Microsoft Copilot for Security work with non-Microsoft products? And what are the prerequisites? Well, the prerequisites, you just need an Azure account, which is absolutely brilliant, but uh, one of the big questions that's missing from this page is how much is that actually going to cost? Now, uh, it was expected that this was going to be a very similar model to Copilot for Microsoft 365 and that you would have to buy a certain amount of spend. But Microsoft have come out and actually released a different model for their costing. And in this GitHub article here, it is... Uh, telling us that Copilot for security pricing, which we can see highlighted in the purple here, is consumption-based and costs approximately $4 per SCU per hour. A security compute unit is Copilot for security's unit of measurement of computing capacity to run a given workload. One SCU uh, is 10 workflows per day. The pricing is consistent across the standalone experience and the embedded experiences as well as regions. So it goes on to demonstrate a bit more about why. So why is it consumption-based and not per user? Uh, the idea is that the flexibility will allow more customers and partners to try it. That said, the output is only as good as the input, and the more plugins you may use to contextually enrich complex investigations, the better. So, yeah, think Microsoft Sentinel pricing, similar consumption sort of model. The more telemetry ingested, the more coverage and insights, so long as it's not too much noise. So, to use Copilot for security, you must have at least one SCU per hour, so 24 by 7. Therefore, the minimum annual price is going to be 35,040 US dollars. Uh, customers and partners can purchase SCUs in the standalone experience or in Azure and can manually provision SCUs up or down so long as there is at least one SCU per hour. Once an analyst is nearing the capacity limit, they will receive a warning and the option to increase the capacity. If you deprovision Copilot for security, uh, your data will be retained for 90 days, MDTI workbench is included, and while it's not the standalone API, the TI information is easy to read in the context of your investigations. And from a licensing perspective, this is also a significant cost savings. There you go, interesting stuff indeed. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments about Copilot for security. Have you uh, 
I found that you're going to use it yourself in your own organization. Are you working in a MSP where you are going to adopt it? I'm very, very keen to hear your stories, what you think of it, where it's going to fit, use cases, all of that good stuff. I think it's very, very early days, obviously, with it just going GA 1st of April. I think much like Copilot for M365, we're going to see it get uh, tweaked and uh, grow and improve and adapt over the next year or so. But uh, I, I think we're going to expect good things from Copilot for security. I think it's going to add things into the daily life of uh, an analyst, enable them to be more efficient, up to 7% times more efficient according to Microsoft. So it'll be interesting to see if that is the case and it does save them that amount of time, which I think can only be a good thing. It gives them more time to effectively resolve those uh, incidents and alerts and move on to, to other responsibilities. So good stuff indeed. Right, well, as always, I'm gonna ask you if you've enjoyed the video to give me a great big thumbs up. It's massively appreciated when you do. If you're gonna stick around and uh, consume some more of my content, there's a lot to get through, uh, consider hitting that subscribe button and uh, hit the notifications bell as you do so. That way you'll never miss any of my content. And you can support the channel as well by joining and becoming a member of my growing little community. There are many options for which you can join. Take a look on the join button and you'll see them all available to you. Right, thank you all, take care, see you real soon, bye-bye.